Good day. Welcome. You here to wait? I've done what you asked. Can I have my... I have to admit that you've surprised... Let me think. It's been a while since he fought. He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is known. This briskard sounds like the perfect... A deal! I'll work on getting things ready for the combat. Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a duel. As soon as you're ready, you'll just need to go and see... We should go and see Candy Cane, so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she will lose her bet. again what do you want this time I have a very lucrative proposal for you you know that I have to fight against the champion everyone knows you are expected to lose in one minute I'm well aware of that I know my opponent is too strong for me but let's suppose my opponent draws out the fight a bit for the beauty of the battle of course I'm starting to see what you're alluding to this fight don't interest me the odds against you are so high, I wouldn't get much out of it. But if we make all the gamblers lose, by letting you hang in there a little longer, we could win a nice little nest egg. Organizing this will entail some costs for me. It's better to add a bonus. Without the bonus, there's no deal. If you pay me in advance, you won't be tempted to play any tricks. So, get your wallet out. We can definitely reach a deal, but we would have to renegotiate the odds. Absolutely not. You're not in a position to negotiate. You need me too much. I'd have a really good think about it if I were you. I may not be a champion, but you know I have a certain reputation in the arena. Is that a threat? <laughs> Gentlemen, teach this imbecile a lesson. <laughs> without candy cane. Have faith, my child. Let's start by searching the body. We will find a way. Petrus, your prayers have been answered. This crook had a letter from Cornelia on him and a key. My child, this letter confirms that our plan may work. Cornelia is interested in your fight. She also mentioned a secret letterbox for returning the mail. This key probably opens it. If that is the case, all we have to do is slip in a letter from Candy Cane. I've got it. We'll slip a fake one in, advising him to bet on the fact you will hold on for five minutes. This letterbox is probably not far from here. Wait, my child. I will first write this fake letter for Cornelia. Petrus, 
You would make the perfect criminal. There is no light without shadow. The Enlightened knows it, and knows how to guide the Righteous Ones.
Good day. Welcome. I must be going. Next. Ready to excite the crowd. Ah, there you are. I was told you'd be taking on one of our old champions. Are you ready for the fight? Beware. Contrary to the challenges, this combat must be fought alone. Your friends must remain in the stands. Yes, I am ready. So, jump into the arena, and may the better fighter win. What a brilliant spectacle. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. It wasn't easy. And here are your winnings from the combat. <laughs> You've earned them. Bravo! A glorious victory, which is made all the sweeter by double compensation. I don't believe I've ever seen you happier. The thought of holding something over Cornelius seems to do you wonders. That is true. Politics is an extremely subtle game and just as satisfying as fighting in an arena. I imagine we need to go and see her now. Yes, and I hope you will enjoy the moment every bit as much as I will. May the Enlightened bless you. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine... Good day. Have a nice day, sir. Did you know that some theologians think that this island is the one St. Matthias discovered? We may be walking in his footsteps as we speak. It is difficult not to feel blessed. Lord de Sade, and you, Petrus, what can I do for you? We have come to offer our support. We have learned that the arena was cruel to you. How do you know that? Oh, I see. You tricked my informer. 
We just let him believe that I would lose. All I did was take the place of your money lender. You owe me a handsome sum. All of this just to make me spill the beans, am I right? I didn't expect you to play this kind of game, Your Excellency. It is true, though, that with such a teacher... Oh, come on, Cornelia. You excel at this game. It's true. And I also know when to admit defeat. What do you want from me? We won't use what we know of you, nor what you owe us. So long as you act loyally towards the congregation and Constantine. Is that clear? Is that what you're expecting? Ah, but I'm sure that this sly old fox has something else in mind, right? You hope that I'll support you when you court the rank of Cardinal? You haven't learnt your lesson, then. Have you forgotten the abyss into which you plunged because of your ambition last time? Petrus, what is she talking about? Cornelia, you don't have the right to use that against me to disclose what I revealed to you that day. It was said under the seal of the Enlightened. It's true. But if someone deserves to know, it's him. No, please. Since you have no intention of speaking, I will. Petrus knew your mother, child. Your real mother. My mother? Petrus, is this true? How? Be damned, Cornelia. It's true. I knew your mother. I used to go to the jail to give my spiritual support to the prisoners of the Prince d'Orsay. That's where I met her. She was alone, afraid, and exhausted. And so strange. Obviously, I had no way of knowing that she came from here. The princes kept their secret well. Why didn't you tell me about it? You knew that my uncle lied to me and you kept quiet. I... I was ashamed. Ashamed of having left her to die in that dead-end pit. Completely alone. Why talk to others about it then? Why does she know? One evening, in a fit of despair, Petrus felt the need to share this great burden with someone. At the time, you were the ear of the enlightened, Cornelia. You have broken your vows. Ah, oh, damnation! It's better out in the open. I've wanted to tell you about it since I met you. Now that you know, I want to do something in her memory. I will help you find your family here, on the island. The Prince sent you here to use you. But I can ensure that all of this serves a purpose. How could I possibly believe you now? You have used me for your scheming and kept me in the dark. I understand how you feel, my child. Let's wait a little, until you've taken it all in. Time heals the wounds of the soul. Come back and see me when you are ready. As for you, Cornelia, remember what we have on you. You no longer have the upper hand. Be careful, Desade. You now see the real Petrus, sly and opportunistic. <sighs> May the word of St. Mateus guide you. Is it you? Your Excellency de Sade? It is an honor to have you here in our city.
There you are, Karantz. How was the encounter? Enon Mil Frichtemann welcomed me like a mother would welcome her child. Or you will have to meditate on everything he told me, and think about the warnings he gave. But now he's waiting for you. I will open the way. Once you are in the sanctuary, always stay on the right-hand path. And keep a confident heart. Those who let doubt take hold of them and turn back, risk awakening the guardians of this place. Kwa Aulam Seg. Enon Mil Frichtemen. I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poisoned fruit, and her children wither and die. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. 
they could be taught by my children. Learn to give back in return. Learn to heal. But for that, I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. Fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands, he spreads it today in my sap. To save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad, because it is not made to be taken. He draws each day a little more from me, and threatens us all. His hunger has no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. You must stop him, or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That... that's impossible. How could that be? You must leave now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here without invitation. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all from us. Flee, or you will be the victims. I saw a man running out of the sanctuary, and I heard the cries of creatures inside. Is everything all right? Did you manage to get the answers you were expecting? Yes. He told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It's actually some kind of poisoning. And it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. Words that come from the heart of the island carry with them a wisdom which may sometimes be difficult to grasp. If you need help, I would be glad to be of assistance. My clan knows how to heal the Earth. Thank you, Dunkus. I suppose I just need time to think. You haven't told me everything, have you? There appears to be a storm weighing down on your forehead. It is true. But it is something I must verify by myself. Oh, I see. Do not hesitate to come and find me if I can help you. Qua aulum secarans. Goodbye.
I'm happy you came to find me. Allow me to apologize once again. I should have spoken to you sooner, told you what I knew, and not betrayed your trust. Indeed you should have. As I said, I'd like to make up for it and help you find your family again. How do you intend to do that? As you now know, I knew your mother. We had trouble communicating at first, of course, but we gradually learned to understand one another. She was important in her village, based on what I know today. I think she was a Donegad. She told me her name, Arelwyn, and told me about her family. She even gave me a pendant for you. You were only a child, so I gave it to Mrs. De Sade for safekeeping. She gave me a necklace when I went to say goodbye to her. She said it was a family heirloom. Did my mother tell you the name of her village? No. But I'm sure the Norts can help us. They were the ones who took your mother to the continent. It was such a long time ago. How can I find out if they remember? The Norts record everything down to the gentlest breeze. They must have written something in a logbook somewhere. So, do you want to try and find out where you come from? Do you want to find your relatives? Yes. All this is so new to me, but I suppose so, yes. Let's go then. You have come at the right time, Your Excellency. I am in a delicate situation and your help would be invaluable. I'm listening, Admiral. Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Noughts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. I'm counting on you, Your Excellency. We must shed light on this case. I have come to talk to you about a personal matter. After what I revealed to you, I was sure you would come back to find me. What would you like to know? You told me that I was born on one of your ships. Of an islander captured on the island. We'd like to know about this woman's origins. I'm afraid I can't help you. I did not take part in those expeditions. And our old archives are far from here. Is there no one on Tier for a D who can help us? Please. Very well. I do know an old captain who could perhaps help you out. Where can he be found? His ship is moored in the port of Hikmet, if I'm not mistaken. His name is Captain Lissandro. Thank you for your help, Admiral. De Sarde? Yes, Admiral. Don't get too caught up in the past. That one in particular. Nothing good will come of it. Whether or not we choose to get caught up in it, Admiral, the past always catches up with us. Sadly, I'm paying the price of this.
captain who took part in these expeditions is right here on the island. It is indeed a stroke of luck. I hope he remembers my mother. Do not worry. If his memory fails him, he may have kept his diary from that time. Hello there. My name is De Sarde. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. I am Captain Lissandro. Pleased to meet you. I don't believe I've had the pleasure before. Yet your face seems familiar. How odd. Well, what can I do for you? Did you know the island before all the colonists arrived? Yes. Now that's going back a bit. And it isn't a topic for somebody who isn't one of our own. So tell me what it was like when the Alliance first began to settle here. It was still wild, dangerous, and very beautiful. And all that has changed now. Admiral Cabral advised me to speak to you about a matter of some concern to me. The Admiral? Coming from a legate, I should have expected that. So? You are the only one on this island that can help me. Really? Oh, I think I understand. That's why your face looked familiar. The congregation is good at keeping its secrets, isn't it? This story is not a new one. Twenty-five years. Twenty-five years since the Noughts brought a woman who was captured on this island to Serene. I remember. And yet it wasn't the first time. But on that occasion, a child was born. So you can understand why we'd like to learn where this captive came from. Yes, yes. I have seen more than a few noughts looking for their parents. But what have you got to do with all this? I met that woman in Serene. I got to know her... well. Listen, it's not that I don't want to help you, but my memory is no longer what it was. I wasn't the captain at the time. I wasn't the one who decided where we moored the ship. So I don't see how I can help you find out where this woman came from. You said it yourself, Captain. You've come across more than a few noughts looking for their parents. Seaborn, Seagiven, all of them were torn from their roots, even if they found a new family. And you've clearly had the same experience. Absolutely. You are indeed the child that was born on our ship. You speak like one of our own. Very well. I need to look in my old logbooks. I'm sure I'll find something. Wait for me here. I'll be an hour at the most. Here it is. I found my old logbook. There's a passage in it that would probably interest you. Your mother came from a village on the plains in the southeast of the island. I'm talking about a place where the bones of the whale are visible from the coast. I believe the natives call it Vignamri. Thank you for this information, Captain. It's nothing. I'm getting sentimental in my old age. Good luck to you. So here you are, on the verge of discovering your mother's village, of finding your own people. How do you feel? I don't really know. I'm a little lost, I suppose. All of this is so new to me. I understand. Mrs. Desade was loving. She raised you with tenderness. And today you learn she is not your real mother. I'm sorry. Thank you. 
what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I recently found out that my mother came from your village. Your mother was from Vignamri? Now I understand why your face seems so familiar to me. Indeed. She was captured before my birth and sent to the continent. She was called Arelwyn. Did you know her? Of course. Everyone here remembers her kidnapping. Could you tell me more about that? I was not the head of the clan back then. It was a very long time ago, but I remember the village the Nagad. Kidnapped by the people of the sea, all our warriors set off to her rescue. But it was all in vain. Most of them died, including the one she loved. It was a dark day, in which our village lost its knowledge and strength in one blow. So my father died too. Do you know if any members of my family are still alive? Yes. Slan. Your mother's sister. She then became our Dunegad. She was never able to match her sister's talent. Too much knowledge had been lost. Relwyn was a renowned healer across all of Tiafradi. Taking her place was not an easy task. It's not surprising that she was of interest to the congregation. They probably hoped she could help them find a cure for the Malachor. But all alone, far from the island, she was just a young, frightened woman who had lost all her powers. Do you know where I can find my aunt? You could try her house, but she's rarely there. She is an elderly woman now, and very much enjoys her own company. She doesn't speak much to me. But others here can probably tell you where to find her. Thank you, Ulan. Anything else? Nothing. I must go. What do you think of the chief of your village? He seems quite friendly compared to the others we've run into. A bit too friendly, if you ask me. A little too concerned with pleasing the settlers. And you think that's a bad thing? He reminds me of myself when I was younger. And that's not a compliment. My fear is that he serves his own ambition. And this is often done at the expense of others. There's no one here. Let's go and ask the inhabitants of the village if they know where to find her. The islanders protect their Donegal. I don't know if they'll speak to some Renaixe. Don't forget, you are one of them after all. Greetings. Bertir Tumad, Renaixe. Hello. I'm looking for the village Donegad. 
Do you know where I might find her? Bertir to Modrenaixe. Why would I tell you? Ulan advised me to go and see her. So you are a merchant? You want to exchange potions? No, no, not at all. It's more personal. Hmm. Is it because you are on Olmanawi? In some ways, yes. So, where can I find her? She has left the village. But I will say no more. Just like you. I understand your lack of trust, but listen. I have discovered that my mother came from this village. She died a very long time ago. I never met her, and I'm trying to find my family. The Dunaigad would be my aunt. That can't be true. Arelwyn disappeared so long ago. Her child must surely be dead. But you can clearly see that I'm on Ol Manawi. You are first and foremost a Renaix, and you should be ashamed of yourself telling such lies. Very well. Seeing as you don't want to help me, I'll leave you in peace. Hello. Bertia Dumad, Renaixe? Hmm, you look strange for a Renaixe. What can I do for you? I'm looking for my aunt. I was told that she is the Denegad of the village. Slan is your aunt? But then you must be... Arelwyn's child? Yes, but I never met her. I was raised by another woman on the continent. Unbelievable. I see the resemblance now. Slan will be so happy to see you. You will find her on the plains west of the village, where the Andriga graze. Thank you very much for your help. Don't mention it. After all, you are a child of the village.
Thank you for stepping in. I don't understand what has happened. Usually these animals accept me. Something must have frightened them. We are glad we arrived at the right time. We would have been very upset if something had happened to you. Excuse me, but are you Slan, the Denegad of Vignamri? Yes, that's me. Were you looking for me? Yes, we were. If you would allow us, we'd like to accompany you and tell our story along the way. Very well. I will walk by your side. This is the story we have pieced together. I... I just can't believe it. Yet, if I think about it, your face reminds me of hers. My mother... Or rather, the woman who raised me gave me this necklace. Arelwyn gave it to me, to give to her child, and I passed it on to Mrs. Desade. It looks familiar. Your father had given it to your mother when they bound. It's good that you are wearing it today. My poor beloved Arelwyn, who died far away from us all, and divorced Tirse. I still miss her so much. I... She wanted me to help her die. But I was unable to do such a thing. Someone would have figured it out. I would have been sent back to Tuleme, so I watched her suffer. Petrus, I cannot hold it against you for letting her live. No, you don't understand. I loved... She's the only woman I've ever loved. Everyone loved Arelwyn. She was marvelous. What's more, you brought me her child. But all is well now. The child of Tia Fradi has... You are home, my magum. Petrus, I wanted to thank you. Thank me? Despite everything you know about... You may have been a bit cowardly in the past, to the point of you were manipulative and you lied to everyone. But thanks to what you've told me, I've been able to find my family and my origins. And for that, I thank you.